Parental discretion is advised. Hi guys, Alex Cartoon World here. And today I'll be saluting on Spider-Man. To anyone who hates Spider-Man, I can handle your thoughts on this movie and I'll handle your thoughts back. Anyways, let the salute begin. Shall we? Spider-Man has go to be one of the best movies that I ever seen in my entire life. Here are the reasons why this movie rocks. This movie was released in May 3rd 2002. This film, is widely known for being super faithful to its source material, for its writing and direction from Sam Raimi. Great casting choices which are still remembered even to this day. Tobey Maguire does a spot on job as Peter Parker, despite not being very accurate to the comic version. Because of this. His portrayal of Peter, as well as the more famous Bully Maguire, has sparked several memes on YouTube, Twitter, and several social media websites. Willem Dafoe was a very excellent choice to play Norman Osborn, the Green Goblin, and plays both sides of his torn up psyche perfectly. J. K. Simmons as J. Jonah Jameson was a picture perfect casting choice. Simmons nailed Jonah's personality very perfectly, which is why his performance is considered one of the greatest casting choices of all time. The action scenes are well shot and well choreographed. Great acting. Fantastic direction from Sam Raimi, director of the Evil Dead trilogy. Amazing soundtrack by Danny Elfman, especially the opening theme. Solid mix of humor, action, suspense and drama. It also manages to feel like both a realistic and a classic superhero movie. Deals really well with the theme of responsibility and has a great allegory for puberty. Good moments. The iconic moment where Spider-Man and MJ kiss in the rain after saving her from a group of perverts while he is upside down in the rain. Green Goblin and Spider-Man's final battle was both awesome and emotional. His death is also emotional. Uncle Ben's death might be the most heartbreaking death in the Spider-Man trilogy, especially since Peter is, actually with him when he dies in this version. The home video versions have the reflection of the World Trade Center's twin towers on Spidey's lenses as a way of respecting the victims of 9-11. Decent cinematography, for the most part. The poster is iconic. Awesome and memorable lines, such as, I had to beat an old lady with an stick to get these cranberries. Peter. Don't tell Harry. With great power comes great responsibility. I missed the part where that's my problem. Because of its box office performance, it went to spawn two other sequels, Spider Man 2 and Spider Man 3, which are also awesome, just like this and have all of the stuff that made this movie amazing in the first place. Good amount of focus and character development on Norman Osborn to the point that he feels, just as much like the movie's protagonist as Spider-Man himself. Chad Croager of Nickelback's Hero is a banger of a theme song. And there's sequels called, Spider-Man 2, and Spider-Man 3. Which are all awesome sequels. There's a two prequels from Andrew Garfield called, The Amazing Spider-Man and The Amazing Spider-Man 2, which are all awesome prequels. And there's Tom Holland's Spider-Man's called, Spider-Man, Homecoming, Spider-Man, Far From Home, and Spider-Man, No Way Home, which are all awesome prequels. And that's all the reasons why this movie rocks. Thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed the salute video, leave it a like and subscribe so we can hit 2k subscribers. This is Alex Cartoon World, 